ورسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول كل بدعة ضلالة What is your nasiha for a sister that she says that she that she said to her husband if you take a second wife I would I will seek a divorce from you I wouldn't advise it but uh, men have to recognize just as women have to recognize the nature of each other men and women have to recognize each other's nature men uh, have been created with a nature not all of them but many of them with a nature that causes them to desire to marry again so women need to recognize that fact in men and this is something that is established in the Quran in the Sunnah in Ijma in this Ummah and all of the nations that came before whether they are Muslim nations meaning from the Bani Israel which were of course Muslims and those who came uh, through other nations that polygamy and multiple wives was the norm in almost every civilization Muslim and non-Muslim uh, so women need to recognize that fact and not be driven by these uh, modern ideas that this is something that is actually against the nature of men or the nature of humans it is not it is in line with the nature of humans of humans uh, and here we're referring to men specifically, for them to desire to be married to more than one woman. Is this something that is a part of every man's makeup? Then no, some men don't. Some men prefer just one wife, and that's it. They're satisfied with that. Others are not. But those who are not, then Allah has given them an allowance to marry other wives, and Islam limits that to four wives so long as they can look after them so long as they can provide for them and so on so if a woman cannot live with that because of her upbringing or because of something that is with her in terms of her innate jealousy for her man then this is something that they have to resolve between themselves ideally before marriage rather than after marriage it is one of those subjects that should be tackled before marriage. And uh, and we have discussed this actually, I think, in one of the one of the topics in Bulugh al-Maram under Sheikh al-Fawzan with regard to the contracts that are allowed in marriage. And one of the contracts that is sometimes written in marriages is that the wife says that I will marry you on the basis that you will not take a second wife whilst you are married to me, whilst I'm alive. If he agrees to that marriage contract, then he is bound by it. In this situation, where there is no marriage contract that forbids the man, then this is something that you need to sit down and discuss and work through. And the man has to think about the, uh, the masalih and the mafasid, about the benefits and the harms of taking a second wife, and about whether he has the ability in a country like this, whether he has an ability, because of course... We're not talking about registry office marriages because registry offices in Europe, or in Britain specifically, does not allow bigamy. It only allows monogamous marriages. So a man can only marry one woman legally in this country through the registry office. But however, he may have multiple partners. And this country allows that. Those multiple partners may be through a religious bond, such as a nikah. And that is not against the law because those are partnerships Religious partnerships are allowed. But a man, if he enters into that, then the rights don't alter. He has to provide for her and house her and clothe her and any children that are born of that relationship. He cannot treat the wives any different. He must share the time equally uh, and he must give his wealth, uh, share his wealth equally. They do not have to provide for him and he cannot demand their wealth from them and he cannot say to them, you must go and look after yourself and all I am to you is basically a bed partner. This is not something that the religion calls for. So that responsibility is a heavy responsibility. And one who enters into that should be careful. And he should speak to his wife about that. Not that she's going to be happy. I don't think any woman will be happy or pleased with the fact that her husband takes a second wife. But at least she, she may understand. 
and she may understand that a marriage that is open and apparent and legal and recognized Islamically and amongst the community is better than keeping a mistress like the non-Muslims do and many many sinful Muslims do that they fornicate and they commit adultery and the rights are taken and no, there is no responsibility over the, the other woman that he has in his life and no any responsibility over those children and those children are considered to be illegitimate and that is not the way to go forward in any society. That just causes more and more corruption and harms within society. So sit down and talk. Barakallahu feekum. And maybe you need to bring someone from the outside to sit in between you to avoid divorce. So you can advise him and advise you, even if it may, even if it be family members who are upon the sunnah.